All right, guys, now that we've got the ESC laid out on the frame, and again, if the frame was facing front up here back to me, this is what it would look like, and this is what it should look like. All your tinned areas are here. Your plug is on the other side, and your harness is set. It fits in perfectly, and you've got your setup here, right? So here's what we need to do. We need to prepare ahead of time to solder this uh, prepare it to be soldered to the flight controller, right? It has to be soldered to the flight controller. So what we want to do is, I, I guess the easiest way to do it is we can take the ESC off and set the frame aside. And let's look at it here. We can take the plug out if we want and set the ESC aside. And we could just start trimming the wires up here if it makes it easier. Either way, I'll go that method just to show you guys how quickly we're going to do this. So what you want to do is you want to basically pull away about uh, two millimeters or millimeter and a half of the silicone sheathing that's around the wire. Um, and we're just gonna get all the wires done at one time so that we don't have to mess with it later on. And this will be easier. Now, I am not going to ask you to cut these wires down. Uh, they are gonna be somewhat long when you see how we're mounting it, but there's no harm in that right now. And I'd rather do that than have you guys cut them and then there be a mistake down the road that uh, requires you to have to get another harness. So let's just strip the wires, okay? And what we want is we're gonna have, uh, let's see, we have uh, six nicely stripped wires, all right, that need to be tinned. So we're gonna lay those on the table. And don't worry, we're not twisting them up yet, but we wanna get all this flux pen on the metal strands, right? So there we go, get them nicely fluxed. And then one by one, and what I want you to do, and this is how I do it, you do it however you want, but just make sure you do it, uh, you know, get these twisted right, is hold the silicone in one hand, pinch the uh, metal uh, exposed wiring uh, strands in the other, and spin the silicone part, okay? That's gonna really tightly wind up those strands, all right? Some people try to spin, the, spin this finger, spin the metal, and it doesn't really work for me that way. I spin the silicone because I can get a good grip on it, and I just pinch the, uh, the strands so what I'm going to do, I'm on, I'm on wire number three, and then we're going to go to wire number four. Okay, and then we'll do the ground. And we're going to do the battery. All right, so there we go. Look at that. It's perfect. Looks good. Everything's set. Okay, now we've got to tin them. So for this one, if you've got a helping hands, go ahead and get it. Uh, if not, you can just lay the wires on any tool like this and tin them. I'm going to use the helping hands, I think, although it's never, I can't say it's easier for me to use the helping hands because I got so used to doing it without them for so long, but uh, we'll just do it anyway. All right. I just feel like it bunches them all close together. So I'm going to try to spread these apart as much as I can so I can just do it in one pass. All right, there we go. All right. So now we're going to take our soldering iron and our, some of our solder pieces here. And we're just going to start tinning them. And it doesn't take very long. Just make sure that they've got a good amount of solder on them. One and two. There we go. Three. And then get that excess solder off the tip there. And then we'll do four here. Turn it a little bit more. And then we'll do the ground. Five. There we go. And six. Okay. Now, something I want to point out to you guys is and I think maybe it's better if I do this using the microscope. So give me a second, let me turn that on. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn the microscope on because I wanna give you an idea of how long your strands should be because we are talking about, uh, let me get this excess out of here. We're talking about a very small area. So let me show you something real quickly, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this here and I'll get this for you guys to see, okay? So let's do this. There we go. Let's bring that over. And I'm not sure if that's actually, it doesn't look like it's updating here. Let me try this again. Okay, give me a second here and I will um, bring the computer back here one second. So you can see the screen. Hey, the big picture of me. Um, all right, so let's do this. Wait, there it goes. All right, let's see if this will work. Okay, let's see if that works now. Yep, that works. Okay, so let me show you what you're, where you're soldering. I'm gonna get this flight controller out so you can see this real quickly. So you can see how small the pads are. Let me raise this up. Let me focus. Okay, perfect. Okay, 
you see where that says S2? So I'm gonna point this out to you using the screw. See that? That's where you're soldering to. This is the side, this is a screwdriver, by the way. This is the tiniest screwdriver. Um, S3, uh, sorry, S1 is right here. Okay, and S3. So these pads are very small. Put that in perspective. This is the wire we just tinned. See how long that is? Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna make sure, now the power and ground are fine because you're actually putting those on bigger pads. But let's say this is a wire you tin, right? Let me put this back in focus. It looks pretty good, right? I mean, it looks clean and it is clean. And if I take a ruler to it and try to measure that, that's gonna look, oh, you know what, the light's too bright. Let me, let me dim that down. Okay, that's gonna look like it is about two and a half, maybe two, a little over two mil, two and a half millimeters in length. Well, if you put that in perspective of this hole right here, this hole is only about a millimeter wide, okay? So we're talking about having that much wire, which means that you could risk touching this, you could risk touching this, you don't want to, and if you look at the rest of these areas, you don't wanna do that, right? So here is S2, and if you go too long, you could touch this end of this cap here, you could touch these. So the idea is we wanna trim these down. So make them short. So I'm gonna cut one real quickly, and I'm gonna show you uh, what I would do, okay? So I'm gonna take these, this white one right here, okay? And I'm gonna trim it real quickly, and I'm gonna show you where it should be in length, if I can. There we go. So I'm going to cut half of that off. And I'm gonna leave it about that length. And that's for the, for the, for the ESC wires, I want you to go that length. And if you put the ruler to it, it should be about a millimeter. Okay, perfect. I want you to make sure that you're, well, only these four colored wires, right, are that long. You, the red and the black, you don't have to worry about because they're going on bigger pads. If you wanna see the pads, the red and the black are actually gonna go on these big squares right here. So you've got plenty of room. And if I put that in comparison, look. So here's your, here's your square pads, right? Here's your red wire. You got plenty of room here for this, okay? So you, I mean, you cut it down a little bit, but you don't have to worry about it. But you have to do this for the small one. So I'm gonna do, let me finish cutting these. I'm gonna show you the end result here, okay? So I'll cut that one. And then I'll cut the blue one. All right, now let me show you the end result. So here's the four wires now. Yellow, I think, is still the longest, but you can see the white one we just did. It's the one I cut while you were there. So now when I go and go to a, one of these pads and I want to solder this, you see my wire stays within the pad range, okay? And you're good there. So cut yours down. Make sure they are um, that length for the four colors, okay? White, uh, blue, green, and yellow. The red and black are good, so we're set. So now with that done, take this and plug it back into your ESC, just like that, okay? Get your frame, bring it over, put my ruler away, turn the ESC upside down, just like that, to where the wires are on the bottom. Make sure they're in well and just set it back in there, okay? You are now set to go as far as your ESC being completely prepped and ready for your next task, which is going to be to, uh, well, we could set up the flight controller or we can set up the motors. I think what we'll do is let's do the motors first. That way we can get everything done here and then we'll come back and do the flight control. So I'll see you guys in just a minute.